Hi friends, welcome back to part two of an absolutely enormous bins haul. I don't even know how much stuff I have. It's 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 all around me. I just filmed part one. I'm rolling right into part two. Welcome back for you guys. I know it's been a little bit of time in between the two videos. Last haul, I had quite a bit of bread and butter stuff, as I would call it. I still have quite a bit of bread and butter, but I think I have some kind of more exciting finds in this half of the haul. Also, I've got some shoes and clothes left over, as well as a few items I picked up for myself. I'll show you those, because you guys seem to always enjoy me showing that. I get a lot of feedback and questions about what I wear myself. If you're not following me over on Instagram, it's at Life with Marina Cole. I usually do a lot of stories showing how I style my thrift finds. All right, so let's kick it off with a free people find. These are some high-waisted paper bag trousers. Look at that shiny, brand new Free People tag. These are a size US 6. I love the stripes. I love the wide leg. These are so absolutely on trend right now. I think these will be beautiful going into spring as people want to start getting into these light and bright colors again. Hopefully they'll sell before then. I'm certainly going to list them as quick as I can get to them. If you guys are interested in anything in these hauls. I don't think I said it last time. I'm going to be working on listing them. If I haven't listed something you're interested in, send me a message or comment down below and I will certainly try to prioritize for you. I have a lot of stuff. I am a part-time reseller. I will work as fast as I can, I promise. All right, here is one that is a little bit dated. I wouldn't have picked this up at a retail store, but I did decide to grab it at the bins because it's just so cute. I love the scallop trim here. This is Kimchi Blue, which is an Urban Outfitters brand. It is a size extra small, so I'm not sure seasonally wise, but I might get to wear this myself if I can find something to wear it to. Here is a nice pretty pencil skirt with this like candy stripe pattern. This is Antonio Milani. Antonio Milani is a designer brand. The resale value can be hit or miss though. I've seen kind of things all over the board. I did just sell a pair of Antonio Milani shoes. They actually sold on Depop. They were like pointed toe, very witchy core, very Y2K. So they might have sold actually more in style than they did the fact that they were Antonio Milani. But I decided at Ben's price, I'm going to grab this. It's very, very nice. It's very, very classic. Hopefully it'll do well. I guess we'll find out. Stay tuned to my What Sold videos if you want to see. Here's a pair of PacSun jeans. These are just like a stretch. Yes, they are skinny, but guys, my skinny jeans sell just as often as my non-skinny jeans. So I'm going to continue pick them up because there are millennials in the world like me that will continue wearing skinny jeans, especially in the winter when I like wearing them with like boots. You can put your boots on over them. Okay, I told you I'd still do have some bread and butter, of course. This is just a nice chambray shirt. This is from Torrid, so it is the size 2x I'll probably list this for 28 and hope to get like 22 to 25 it's not broken it's just buttoned wrong I don't know if that was me or if that was whoever had it and donated it here's a torrid sweater also a size one just a really pretty royal blue it's in such great shape it's super super soft that'll also probably get listed at 28 maybe up into 30 Here's a Michael Michael Kors. I pass on Michael Michael Kors all the time, but at the bins for something this light and just being that chiffon fabric, it's pretty, it's my favorite color. It does always sell for me, so I decided to grab this one. I found one hat, actually my mom found one hat. If you'd missed part one of this haul or the thrift with me, she, my mom was shopping with me. I was visiting Columbus, Ohio, and this is just a I'm gonna mess it up. Pittsburgh Pirates? Is that the baseball team in Pittsburgh? Again, I usually know this, I'm sorry. Still got the sticker on it, really great condition. I think that's the only hat I found. I do like getting hats at the bin, so I was a little disappointed I didn't find more hats. Here's a pair of American Eagle jeans. This is the newer label. This, These are the Strigid. I think that's how you say it, Strigid jeans. And these are a size 12, which I've always heard that the larger American Eagle sizes can do better, but I just haven't found them at the bins before. And I usually will only buy American Eagle jeans at the bins. So we're gonna try this style out, see how it does. I usually list American Eagle at $28. And then I also have a pair of the mom jeans. These are the same size. These are also in a size 12. 
which the mom jeans always seem to do very well. It's a very trendy style right now. So we'll see how those do. Okay, this I would not have gotten if it weren't new with tags, but this is Lulu's. I also remember thinking, I'll get this quick and somebody will buy it as a Christmas dress. That clearly didn't happen. But it's new with tags. I still think it's cute. I would wear it. But it's a size medium. So if anyone needs a delayed green dress, maybe you're going out for a nice St. Patrick's Day dinner. But I think it's a beautiful color. I always put jewel tone in the listing for colors like that that are jewel tones. I don't know if anyone uses that, but I think a lot of people are drawn to those types of colors, so who knows. Okay, this one needs a little bit of deep pilling, but other than that, it is super, super good shape. This is made well, and it is a size small, so this will absolutely get worn to work before I list it. Um, I like the decor buttons down the sleeve, and I wish you could feel this, guys. It is so, so soft. I'm sorry, it doesn't really even need deep pilling. It just needs like some lint removal love. I don't know how well a lint roller is going to do, so this might be where I have to like sit and pick off little things, unfortunately. But this is 100% merino wool, and it's like a very soft merino wool. So I loved that. That was kind of one of the last things I found, and I was pretty excited about it. All right, Nick and Zoe is a good brand to look out for. This is a size large, and this was so lightweight. Um, my mom actually found this and was like, the tag looked nice. I haven't heard of it. And I was like, yeah, that's great. Good job, mom. It's very tropical with these bright colors and the leaves on it. And I didn't even realize it till I got home and was looking over it. But this is 55% linen, which is really nice. It's also got that like tie detail down at the bottom, if you can see. This one is a brand called Coolabar. You guys might be familiar with this and I just wasn't. I've only found this once and it sold pretty quick for like 20, maybe 22, $25. And it was a men's shirt. This is a, this is a women's in a size large and it has UPF 50 plus UV protection. And it's like this long tunic shirt. I need to measure it. I don't think it's a dress. I think it's a long line shirt but i'll double check just to make sure i love the print on it and this feels basically brand new it's definitely in excellent condition so based on how the other one sold i also found the other one at the bins i think that one could do you know fairly well the other one sold quick so we're going to find out whether that was a fluke or whether you know i'm onto something here this was one of my favorite finds of the day because i have never found this brand before this is jams world and this is a size extra large. Look how pretty. I love this print. Look at the, like the flutter bell sleeves. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Tropical, Hawaiian, lightweight. We'll add all those keywords. It's the Hibiki, Hibiki. Not sure. 100% rayon. It does kind of feel like linen. It's lightweight like that. All right, guys, I need to go faster. We're going to be here all day because I just like to talk. This is a Zara basic little dress. I got this somewhat because I can wear this to work a couple times before I list it, but it's also super pretty. Just nice and basic. It's chiffon and sheer, so it was also very light. This was another good one that my mom actually found. She found it. She was like, I don't know. This looks nice, but this is Saturday, Sunday, and it's by Anthropology. It says that, so it means it's one of the newer ones. And this is like a midi maxi length sweater dress. I love this print and pattern. Look, it's like soft and stretchy. It's got the split at the bottom. I know I'm doing a terrible job showing this because it's really hard to get it off frame. But this was one of my favorite pieces for sure. I think, yeah, this is a size large. I will hopefully be able to find a stock photo of this just to make sure I can do it justice in the photographs. All right, we have a blazer. I don't remember <laughs> what this is. It's very nice though. This is a Lauren, Ralph Lauren blazer. It is pure new wool, wool mark. That's always a good tag to look for. A lot of people look for that. It's just really good quality wool, but a nice navy double 
button, two button blazer, not double breasted, two button blazer. Blazers are a little tricky, but good to find, especially when I can find them in the bins. All right, we've finished a bag. That is always good. All right, this one I almost put back, but I decided to grab because of the material. This is J-Gel, but it's definitely an older J-Gel. It is a size small, and if you couldn't tell from all of the wrinkles, this is a linen kind of loose blazer. It's got some colorful smocking embroidery, but it is 100% linen, which is why I did decide to get this and deal with steaming it and all the things that come along with wrinkled linen. But J. Jill linen is my favorite thing to sell from, from the line. Apparently I have another blazer. I didn't even realize I bought two blazers, but this is L.L. Bean. L.L. Bean is a great brand I love selling. And this looks vintage. Look at these pockets on the inside. Like, was this for a phone? Like back in the day? No. Cigars? Like legitimately to have in your blazer? That might be a cigar pocket. I wonder if that's a thing. But look at these pockets. There's pens. There's a zipper pocket. I am obsessed. Why do we not get that many pockets? This one has a zippered mesh pocket on this side. It's just stunning. It's, again, two button. Yeah. Two button blazer. Navy blue. Just needs a little lint rolling as well. Here's a pair of shorts. These are out from under, which is Urban Outfitters, like Intimates line. These are size small. Maybe I should keep these. I don't know. I might try these on. Those are pretty cute. Maybe. If not, I'll list them. They're not going to go for a ton, but they'll probably sell for like 15. Let me show you guys a few things I got for myself. Um, I'm wearing more work business clothes into the office these days. So I just got a few things uh, that are going to be like basics for me to mix and match. This is just a Banana Republic little slouchy gray top. This I loved the color. This is just for summer. It's a little Nine West Essentials ribbed tank. Loved the color. This might be an Easter dress. I have no idea what this is. I haven't even looked it up, but I got it to buy. Jella C. So I'm assuming it's just a little boutique private label. Look how pretty. I love the watercolor florals. Just like a nice little sleeveless shift dress. This I also wasn't familiar. I got it to wear to work. Lost and Wander, size small. It's just a knit kind of blouse, but I liked the sleeves, the tiered ruffle sleeves. Those were pretty cool. This is another Ohio State one I'm gonna keep and get rid of the Ohio State tank or one of them that I already have. This is a super, super soft jersey knit. Maxi or midi length dress from Guess. I love this type of tie dye and I don't have anything like this. So whenever I see it to resell, I'm always like, I want something for myself. And I finally found something that should be great. Maybe I'll wear that to Disney. A couple more things for myself. Just a nice little express blouse. I like the color and the sleeves. I can mix and match that quite a bit, as well as this little express size small. It's actually like a muted leopard print, if you can see that, but that'll be great just for layering. And I find a lot of reselling things that I wanna wear that I need like basics to mix and match, white, black, gray. And then I think this is it. I found an American Eagle, size extra small, just little like striped. It's definitely oversized. I think that'll be cute as well as some American Eagle. I think these are the mom jean. Yeah, these are the mom jean. Um, I haven't tried them on yet though. They're a size two. So I'm hoping these are gonna fit me, but if not, these will absolutely resell. So we will see. I thought that would look super cute with that. Okay, those are all my things. Let's go through the shoes and then we have another bag of clothes. All right, so I showed half of the shoes in my last haul, haul part one. So here are the second half of the shoes. First pair are these kind of strappy. These are the wood 
block wedge <laughs> with some leather upper. I think these are leather. I'm not sure. But do these have a size somewhere? I don't know if these have a size, so I might have to try them on and deduce what size they are, which is never good. But these are Dolce Vita. I've said it before, but this is the main label Dolce Vita, so they sell the best and for the most. If they have a DV right there, that means they are sold at Target and maybe other places. I just know they're sold at Target or can be. So that just means they're not worth as much because it's a diffusion line. All right, these were a pair of heels that I have not... I'm not going to unrubber band them because they're all tangled together. I have not heard of, but I grabbed them and decided to look them up, and apparently I decided they were worth me trying to resell them. But if you can see that, it's Louis S.C. I don't speak French, so I am so sorry if someone out there speaks French and I'm ruining that. But these are in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of wear on the heel, but I think most of that is just dirt that's going to come off. And they're just a super pretty pair of classic pumps with ankle straps. And I decided that I thought these were going to resell for like 30 to 50 I think. If I did my comps right, I'm going to have to recheck everything because I was just running super quick comps while I was there. All right, here is a pair of Eddie Bauer hiking, walking, flats. Great, great condition. These are some suede chocolate leather they're chocolate brown suede leather size women's nine. I love finding Born. These are beautiful black leather with contrast stitching. Apparently these were originally sold for $7 and no one wanted them. I probably would have paid $7 actually for these. I sell these Born sandals pretty consistently for like $30. These I kind of just threw in because these are so light. They're a pair of Adidas flats. I didn't look them up. They might be worth basically nothing, but I decided I was going to try them. They're so bright. Here's a pair of Clarks, tried and true for me. I have sold this pair fairly often, maybe like three times by now for like $20 to $25. These were a good find, except they're really small, but these are Fit Flop, which I love selling Fit Flop. They always do really well, except for, for some reason, this one pair of sandals that will not sell. I don't know why. It's a good size. They're super cute. I've relisted it. No one wants them. Um, but everything else has sold. These have a microbial, no, they have a micro wobble board. I'm assuming that's some sort of comfort thing. But the downside is these are a U.S. size five. So they're pretty small, but that's okay. Everybody needs shoes. Hopefully I'll find the right person. And then my last pair is actually just my favorite pair, not because of the resale value, but I just love the style of these. These are the DV Diffusion line, but I still decided to grab them based on style. I have sold that line before and they would have had to be special, which these I thought were, these are not leather. Um, these are a faux leather, size 9, block heel. They originally wanted $13 for these, which is why nobody bought them. I would not have paid $13 to resell these at all. But super cute. I hope somebody likes these. They won't fit me or else I would have kept them. All right, guys, I've got one more big bag of clothes. Before I do, let me show you a few more things I found real quick for my son. I found this one bin that was like... Just gold mine of like 2T, 3T clothes, which is what my son is wearing right now. And there were so many sleepwear sets that I would like find one and then find the other and have to marry them back together. And I was able to find quite a few complete sets and I was able to find quite a few Disney things, which I'm prepping for our Disney trip coming up this summer. So let me show you what I found. Okay, I don't think these actually went together, but I'm going to put them together because I don't know, maybe they did go together. But I thought that would be a good little outfit, Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Here's just a pair of shorts. These are Cat and Jack Target brand. Look at his little Cat and Jack, I think. Nope, these are Jimbery. These will be great for our Disney trip with the little toucans. I just sold a pair of Janie and Jack 
shorts that were his that I sold that had little micro toucans on them and they were so cute. Here's a pair of just linen, like size three. These are Jamie K. Actually, I don't know if they're linen. They're probably not. They just look and feel like it. So maybe they are, but I don't know. It looked like a little boutique brand. They'll be nice and lightweight for summer. Here's some of those jammies that I was able to match up. So he loves trucks right now. I'll give him these for his birthday later because these are 3T, so he, he won't wear these till later this summer anyway. Little trucks. And some Mickey Mouse pajamas. So cute. Bring these to Disney. He'll be all Disney-fied this summer. And then this was my favorite outfit. I just loved the <laughs> little like vintage-y retro looking. And look at these. Oh my gosh. Are these not the cutest? I was so excited to find all these. They're all Disney branded, um, Disney Junior clothes. And then this is for when he's a little bit older, but it was so cute. I don't know what this is. Turtle Dove London. I don't know. I've never heard of it. Tell me if you have. So it's a size three, four, but look at these little slouchy overalls. They've got star print on them. They're like a Jersey knit. They're so soft. I absolutely love that. And then one more thing I had for my daughter. This is Abercrombie size 910, so she's gonna have to wait a year or two. And it's a little pretty romper. I would absolutely wear this in a heartbeat <laughs> if it were my size. All right, let's get back to the main haul to resell. All right, guys, this is a Elizabeth and James, which if you're not familiar, was Mary Kate and Ashley's clothing label. They named their clothing label after their other two siblings that at the time were not as well known um, that were named Elizabeth and James. So they had a very kind of successful designer clothing line. Ironically, Elizabeth Olsen, who is now best known as Scarlet Witch in the Avenger series, she's now kind of the most popular. But So Elizabeth and James, however, is now sold. I don't even think the main designer brand is around anymore. I'm not 100% positive about that. However, they did have a line for a while, I'm not sure if it's still around, that was sold at Kohl's. And the Kohl's line is not really worth picking up. It's cute, but not really worth much. This, however, I felt it. The tag looked slightly different. It had the and sped, spelled out, which looked different to me, so I looked it up. This is the actual designer line. So I did decide to grab it. I'm not sure how well it's gonna sell though because I don't know if people will really be able to differentiate between the Kohl's line and this line because I saw comps that were low for their clothes and I saw comps that were really high for their clothes. So I'm not sure, but what will help this item is that it is 100% silk. So that in itself, no matter what it was, I would have picked up. It's also a size small, so I am going to wear this to the office first. Obviously it will tie up here so it's not so loose it's hanging right now. It'll tie. I'm going to wear just like a black bodysuit under it with I think like a black pencil skirt or something. So I'm actually excited about that. I'll probably wear that this week and then I will eventually get it listed to sell. Okay here is an Eddie Bauer extra large. This is so soft and it's like an open front cardigan vest very slouchy perfect for like camping this would be so great for like around the bonfire this would have been a great like christmas present this like army green but perfect for any season really because even when you're hiking or camping in like the summer or fall it definitely usually gets cool in the evenings i've grown up camping and it always does no matter really where i'm at i found a few bras on this trip the first is cacique which is lane bryant's intimate line this is a size 44c this is hit or miss for me sometimes i really like selling cacique and sometimes it doesn't sell for me this one was in great condition i liked the floral trim around the bottom. All right, this is a Nike sports bra. It took me a bit because you can like fold it weird to, to get it figured out. But that is Nike and it is so soft. 
I don't know how to explain it, but it is like buttery soft inside. It is a size large. I'll probably list that for like 21 or 25. This, it got all smushed up in the bag. This is another Cacique, just a like very normal beige, but it's got like comfort straps. They, they look really, really comfortable, very supportive. This was one my mom found, shout out. She was like, it just looked cute, I wasn't sure. And it, it's intimately free people, so good job, mom. There's that. It won't sell for a lot, but these are a pretty popular style. This is a size small, so I would fit it, but I don't, I don't need anything more right now, so I'll get this listed. And then this was another one that she found, she just wasn't sure if she thought it looked nice, and I wasn't familiar with it, so I looked it up. And this looks like it has a really good resale value. This is called Panache. I've never seen or sold this before, but they look like they sell consistently over $30. So we will see. But it's just a very basic, just like that last Cacique was. Very basic beige bra. It's got the little tag on it. I thought that was a flaw at first. This one is in a size 34K. All right, I think I've said before, I think Talbot's sweaters and blazers are my two favorite things to sell from them. And I usually find quite a bit of Talbot sweaters at the bins, but I only found one this day, and that was this one. This is a size extra large, just a nice kind of soft but chunky knit open front cardigan sweater. I have a lot of this like royal blue in this haul, which is very beautiful and photographs very, very nicely. And I wanna say this was a wool blend. Yeah, this is 25% wool, so that's great. I'll be able to list it with that in the description. Thinking forward towards summer, I think I talked about either in this video or the last one, I can't remember now, that I like selling 100% linen items. So I don't know what this is. This is just, I think, a vintage label, but it's 100% linen, and I loved this, like, Tic Tac orange color. You can't get more like a Tic Tac than this. But really comfortable. Linen, there's people out there that will like only wear linen in the summer, I think, and will just go shopping for 100% linen and not really care what the brand is. So I'm hoping to market towards those people. All right, this is Japna. I'm trying to give Japna a chance because I have a couple Japna things listed and they just aren't selling. This is a size medium. And I don't know, I thought this might, like the color palette and the stripes maybe would be better than the things I've sold. And if not... I was actually thinking about just keeping this as like an open kind of button down to like, you could even use this as like a cover up or like a beach day or just like with a summer dress because it's so long line. I'm not actually sure if I'm going to list that or if I'm going to keep that. It does have roll tab sleeves on the side as well. All right, we're like halfway through this bag and then we will be done with this giant haul. Okay, I did grab a couple Lucky Brand items. This one is a size 1X. I love selling Lucky Brand in a 1X. It's like an off-shoulder slouchy sleeve and a really pretty floral print. I always check the material tag on Lucky because that usually helps the better materials sell better for me. And this is 100% viscose, which is just a really, really soft material. It's also got the buttons down the back should photograph very nicely I hope here's the other lucky brand I think I have maybe one more also in a size extra large just a sleeveless tank with some really really pretty blue embroidery on the front as well as some eyelet detailing down the sides this is 100% cotton. Lucky Brands, I will usually list for like $26 for like sleeveless and short sleeves and then like $28 for long sleeves or anything kind of more substantial than that. Okay, this is one of my favorite finds. I completely forgot about this. And this also shout out was one of the first thing my mom found. Look how beautiful with this eyelet fabric. It looks like someone took a tablecloth from their grandmother's attic and made this stunning piece of clothing. This is Sundance, and this teal blue is the new Sundance label. It is a petite small, but that does not absolutely detract me from picking it up at the bins. I think this could sell maybe close to 50, definitely over 30 for something this beautiful from Sundance. 
I love it. This will be wonderful in spring. Hopefully it'll sell before that. It is 100% cotton. This is another really soft thing. This is Lilka, which is an anthropology label. I think it's an older anthropology brand, but I still wanted to get this, of course. I wish, this is another one. I wish you could feel how soft it is. It's just polyester and cotton, but it's incredibly soft. It's just like a loose knit jacket, cardigan. It does have a single snap in the front. I don't know what size this is. I'm not sure. I'll have to try to investigate what size that is. I haven't tried it on yet either. Okay, this, again, starting to think towards spring is Rachel Rachel Roy. But it is a really nice, like, swim cover. I love the pretty, like, eye cat pattern on it. It's incredibly soft. It's difficult to not keep this. If this doesn't sell by the time I go to Disney, I'll probably throw this in as a swim cover for sure because I absolutely love that, especially with like a black bathing suit. That would be really, really pretty. Here's another swim cover, if I can find the front of it. This is Steve Madden, which I don't normally pick up his clothes. I like to sell his shoes. But I loved it. I couldn't leave it behind, especially because this is so lightweight at the bins. That's a no-brainer. It does have sleeves, but it's this like slouchy poncho with a fringe trim and this like watercolor floral print. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then, oh my gosh, I forgot how many swim covers I had. This is Victoria's Secret. And this one, I think I actually was thinking about keeping. So we will see just to throw on over top. This one might end up becoming mine, but more fringe trim with that gauzy texture fabric on it. This was a cool find. I'm forgetting what we found that day and being very excited as I go. This is Thai silk, it's unbranded, but it is silk and it is a kimono robe. But look at this print. It's like a muted textured rose. I love it, especially being silk. It's clearly vintage. I think this will hit kind of a lot of demographics. Maybe this will sell for Valentine's Day. That would be beautiful for someone. It is just an open, oh no, I think I'm just now seeing it was supposed to have a tie. So I'll obviously disclose that. Someone could add their own or you could even seam stitch that off. I'll take a look at it and try it on because if, I have done that before where I will just pull this off and sit and list it as being without a sash and just being an open one. So I'll take a look at that and see. All right, what else do we have here? Here's just a basic bread and butter Columbia regular fit extra large plaid women's, but not women's. No, I think that's men's. It's cut like a men's shirt, so that's nice. will be good for spring. That will probably sell for like $20, if that. But it's a nice kind of classic that will always sell. I like selling Calvin Klein professional wear. This was a pretty interesting print, and it is a size 1X. Oh, I have another Torrid. This is a size two, just kind of a classic t-shirt with the lettuce trim collar right there. Those types of things are so easy for me to take photos of and list. I love it. Here was maybe the only J gel I found, actually. It's a size medium, it's their wherever collection. I don't always grab J gel, but it was really pretty. I liked the paisley floral the flyaway back. And since I hadn't found any J Jill that day, I wanted to come home with some J Jill. I always find J Jill. Okay, we are down to my last four items here. I did have another lucky brand. I thought I did. This is a size small. It's got the tie front, another paisley pattern, a little bit newer tag than the last couple that I showed. Let's see what material this one is. This is cotton and modal. 
All right, I am experimenting with this one. I said I like experimenting. I don't think I've ever picked up Southern Tide before, but it's a size extra large. I liked the embroidery and the pinstriping. Oh my gosh, it's probably doing that thing on the camera. So I'm really sorry for that. But we're gonna try this out. I don't know. I think I was thinking in my head simply Southern when I picked it up, which I have bought at the bins and sold fairly well. But I don't know, Southern Tide, we're gonna try. This is too cute. This is a Zara size large cropped ribbed sleeveless ruffle sleeve. I mean, look how big those sleeves are. I love this coral pink. I think this is pretty on trend and is a beautiful spring color. And the last thing is a Diane Von Verstenberg true wrap top. Like, you gotta wrap these all the way around. This goes all the way to the floor here. So I think it wraps a couple times and then you tie it in the front. I did look this up and saw a stock photo. Diane von Verstenberg is, I would say, most well known for her wrap dresses. So maybe the fact that this is a wrap top will help because it's kind of in that same family. But, so you button it down here, there's buttons. And then, yeah, you wrap that all the way around. So it will be a little bit tricky to photograph, but I will figure out a way. Might be a little bit too large for me to model, but I can always try and just tie it tight if I need to, to be able to show the garment the best. All right, somebody was watching me film and wanted to say hi. Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> What's next week? Spirit week. <laughs> yes, but what's in a week? Disney. Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> I don't know how long it took me to publish this video, but for us, Christmas is in a week. I have a video that's coming out before this, though, so it is probably well after the new year. So Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy anything you celebrate. I hope you had a wonderful time um, with family. And that's it. Should we tell them to subscribe? You don't even know what that means. Tell them to <laughs> we are planning our Disney trip, which she is excited about. That's why she said Disney. She's got her Disney shirt on right now. All right, well, that is it for me today. I guess she's just going to sit for my outro here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.